Hey everyone, it's Miss Meg. So March is almost over. And before we know it, school's going to be out. And I'm sure we're all frantically trying to make vacation plans and find camps and all sorts of activities for the kids to participate in this summer. So with that in mind, I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about our VBS this summer. We're doing things a little bit differently than last year and a little bit differently than two years ago and a little bit differently than three years ago. So last year, if you'll remember, we had our family experience. The year before that, we did it digitally because of COVID. And the year before that, we held our traditional morning VBS for four days. This year, we're gonna shake it up a little bit again. This year, we're going to be having VBS three nights in a row, starting Tuesday, June 14th, and Wednesday, June 15th, and ending Thursday, June 16th. And we're going to be having it from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. and serving dinner for those who would like to stay at 7 p.m. Our reason for doing this is that we want to offer everyone in the church an opportunity to participate in VBS in some way or another, whether it's being a group leader, shepherd, station leader, a station helper, helping with dinner, being a part of our opening and closing assemblies, or just attending. We want everybody to have that opportunity. And since we have many, many, many working adults, and many, many working parents, we wanted to give this a try. So with that in mind, I wanna take a minute and talk to you about registration. Our theme this year is gonna be a food truck theme. And while we are probably not gonna have food trucks, we're hoping that our dinner is gonna be centered around some food truck themes. So we need to know as best we can, a head count for each night. So registration is gonna be really important this year. So I'm gonna take a minute and share my screen and show you what the registration form is gonna look like. It's gonna be a Google form that's gonna look just like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend like I am registering myself for VBS. So when you click on the link that should be located at the top of this video in this post, what you'll see is you'll see this opening and it tells you when it is, it tells you when it's located. It also reminds you that our Vacation Bible School is open to those kids who have completed PK4, four-year-old preschool, through third grade. Now you might be asking, well, what if I have a fourth grader, a fifth grader, or a sixth grader? Those are considered tweens in our children's program. And they will be eligible to help with VBS. And so we're gonna be reaching out to a bunch of them. If you have a tween that's interested in participating and helping, if you'll reach out to me and let me know, we would love to have them help out. The nursery is available for kids under the age of four whose parents are going to be helping with VBS. Um, that is typically what we do, and that allows parents the opportunity to participate. So it's not going to be a drop-off nursery. It will be available for any parents that are planning on staying and helping out. So, all right, we're going to move on to our next section. So the first thing you're going to be asked to do is you're going to be asked to put your child's name. So I'm going to put my name just right there. And then you're going to be asked what grade your child was in this past school year. Not what grade they're going to be going into, but what grade they just completed in May. So we're going to say that I completed first grade in May. Then you're going to see a list of allergies. Um, it's important, especially since we're serving dinner, that we know if your child is allergic to any food products. It's also important that we know if they are allergic to anything outdoors because our games and stuff will be holding in the courtyard this year. So you will click any of those that your child may have. If you need to click other, we're gonna ask that you go below and explain what the other might be. I'm going to put that I have no known allergies and I'm going to scroll down some more. The last question in this section is going to ask you to please list any medical conditions that we need to know about 
such as, does your child have asthma? Are they sensitive to light or sound? Do they have any physical limitations? We're asking this because we wanna make sure that every child that attends has a fulfilling experience. And we wanna be mindful and sensitive to any limitations that any child may have while they're with us. So after you fill that out, we're gonna say that I, let's say that one's not a required one, so we don't have to fill it out. So we're gonna go to next. So next, it's gonna be information about the adults. We're gonna ask that you put your email. I'm gonna do my email at church. And you just have to put in one email. So either parent or guardian email would be fine. Parent or guardian name, I'm gonna put my name. Parent or guardian contact number, we're just gonna type in, there we go. One, two, three, four, there. Um, that way, I mean, we're not gonna use that except to contact you in case of an emergency um, while your child is with us. Family mailing address, that'll just be in case we need to mail out some information prior to, so I'm just gonna type that I live at one, two, three, Street Road. So next, we're going to click next after we've completed that. What days will your child attend? We want everybody to have the option to attend as many days as they would like. If they're going to be out of town the end of the week or the beginning of the week, we still want them to be able to come um, as many days as they can. So you'll just click and I'm going to click that I'm going to be there all three days. Will your child be eating dinner those evenings? Um, Parents are invited to eat as well. Um, if you are gonna drop them off at five and come back and get them at seven, we certainly invite you to come and stay and eat. We're gonna have tables set up um, for families to eat together with other families, et cetera, et cetera. We're also gonna have a to-go option available. Um, if you and your crew need to get home for a bedtime because you have a busy day the next day, then we want to offer y'all the option of being able to just grab your food and head on home. So we're gonna click yes. The next is please list any family members other than the child's parent or guardian listed that will be allowed to pick them up. Um, we want the, the safety of our kids, and y'all know this, y'all know I'm a stickler for this. The safety of our kids is really, really, really important to us. And we do not want to send a child home with anybody that the parent or guardian has not approved. So if you've got somebody, that is going to be allowed to pick your child up. If you are not, then we want you to list their name right there so that when they come, we'll know that they're on the approved pickup list. Equally important, we need to know if there are any family members that are not allowed to pick a child up. Um, you know, this, this is a topic we don't always like talking about. But, you know, if we have a child that's there and we have a non-custodial parent that comes and tries to pick the child up, we need to know whether or not that child's allowed to be released to that parent. So with that in mind, we'd like you to list those. We'd also like you to email me any documentation, um, divorce proceedings, papers, stuff like that, that any official documentation that shows that that child, that that child is not supposed to be picked up by that specific adult. So now moving on to more fun things. Our next section, and this is our last section, is medical and liability release. Um, typically we have everybody fill out this long sheet uh, at the beginning of the year. We're not doing that right now. What we are gonna ask you to do is we're gonna ask you to look and give us consent um, for us to act on your child's behalf in case we have an emergency. Um, we wanna know if your child has permission to participate in strenuous activities. Um, don't worry, we're not gonna be running a marathon or anything, but um, with our game section, we wanna make sure that uh, we know if your child does not need to participate. Um, we also really need to know if uh, we have permission to put your child's picture on social media or in our spotlight, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we typically just post most of our pictures on our children and family 
group page, which is private. Um, there are situations where we post wider shots, wider pictures um, on our Facebook, our church Facebook page, which is a public spot. So, and as well as our website. So if any of those um, are not something you want to release us to do, then don't check them. But if you are okay with all of them, then you can just put check marks by them. The last answer below is um, that you are giving the church, you are um, waiving any sort of liability that the church may have, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you agree to that, then we just need you to type in your name and that will, that will do. So at this point, all you would need to do after you're done is you would just need to submit it. Now, I'm not going to submit it because I'm obviously not going to be going to vacation Bible school. So, but that is, it's that simple. Um, we do need you to fill one out for each child, which I know if you have more than about two kids coming, that may be a little daunting, but we do need one filled out for each child. So we can put, we can put the proper paperwork in the proper folders to go to the proper age group. So um, we are excited. We are really, really excited about this. We've got a lot of people that have already volunteered to help and lead, and we are looking forward to a wonderful event. I know it's early, and I know you may not know what your summer looks like, but as you're preparing your summer and as you're considering registering for VBS, I hope that you will reach out to myself or Susanna if you have any questions about VBS and um, what it's going to look like. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Again, feel free to contact any of us if you have any questions. And we look forward to seeing you at VBS in June.